Mm -hmm. Okay. What is the limit of x plus 1 over 2x minus 3 as x approaches 1.5 from the right and then the other one is 1.5 from the left? Mm. Anyone? Let's do the first, let's start with the first one. Again, this is just a rational function. You can again proceed with compute, uh, with substitution. Okay. Paano yung pagkinuha yung limit from the right nitong una? Numerator. Magiging 2.5. Tama, ano? Numerator will be 2.5. How about the denominator? Denominator will be 2.1.5 times 2 will be 3. 3 minus 3 is 0. Actually, the same din sa din dito sa ikalawa, no, from the left, it will also be 2.5 over 0. So, immediately, this is, these are indicators that we are going to get ano makukuha natin dito? Infinities as limits. But then the question is, positive ba o negative no. infinity? Sorry for the dog. Okay? So let's start with the first one. We are just choosing positive or negative. Sorry for the dog. <laughs> Bigla nag <-haul> kasi. <laughs> okay? Palipasin lang dati. Anyway, the point is, kailangan natin malaman... <laughs> Narinig nyo ba? Bigla kasi nag yung dog namin dito sa bahay. Out of nowhere. Di ko alam kung... Narinig nyo ba? Di ko alam kung narinig ng audience ng ating participants. Sorry. <laughs> narinig nyo po ba? May howling na nangyari dito sa, sa bahay ko. Okay. Yeah. Di ko alam kung narinig nyo but then there were some dogs howling oh, away. Opo oh, yeah. po, narinig namin. <laughs> okay, sorry po. Nasa bahay lang po ako ngayon. <laughs> yeah, very slight lang. Okay, sige. Gawin na natin ito. So, ang tanong na lamang natin, paano tayo nag-approach ng zero? From the positive side ba or from the negative? So, ang gagawin lamang natin, you look at the values, tingnan nyo rito, 1.5 from the positive. Ibig sabihin, we are approaching 1.5 from values that are greater than 1.5. Tama, di ba? Values that are greater than 1.5. So if that is a value greater than 1.5 and if we multiply that by 2, it will be a value that is also greater than 3. Tama ba? 2 times 1.5 is 3. However, the excess that we are having here are greater than 1.5. X is greater than 1.5. So 2 times X will be greater than 2 times 1.5. 2 times 1.5 is 3. And it will be greater than 3 in the end. So we meaning to meaning that 2 times x will be greater than 3. Greater than 3 minus 3, it will give us a positive value. Meaning that we are approaching, the denominator is approaching 2x minus 3. Eh, sorry, the denominator 2x minus 3 approaches 0, but then from positive values. Why positive values? Again, it's because 1.5 from the right are values that are greater than 1.5. Greater than 1.5, if you multiply that by 2, it is greater than 3. Greater than 3 minus 3, it will be positive. So that's why for this one, you're going to get positive infinity. Okay? I hope you were able to follow that. It's not really that difficult. Non-zero over zero, that is an indicator that it is already infinity. However, the question is, is it positive or is it negative infinity? Let's do for the second one. Ano naman ito? From the left naman tayo. From the left, may mga sagot na pala kayo. Thank you. From the left of 1.5, we are looking at values that are less than 1.5. If you multiply less than 1.5 by 2, it will be less than 3. Less than 3 minus 3, it will be through negative values. So yun gusto natin sabihin dito. The denominator approaches 0 from the negative. So positive over negative, it will give us a negative infinity. Okay? Yeah, thank you po. Yeah, the second one is a negative infinity. So I hope hindi kayo nahirapan doon. Again, if you have a non-zero numerator, zero denominator, automatically the limit will be infinity. Now the question for you is, is it positive or is it from the positive side or is it from the negative side? Okay? 